Welcome back to the shop, friends. Here at Mad Racing Parts, we have the full line of Brown and Miller Teflon hose assemblies, uh, which we make here to you know, custom to your length. We have all the fittings, um, every every size and every combination you can think of, all the way from dash six up to dash twenty. Every angle, bevel swivel, fixed, whatever you need, we got it. We have the machine here to crimp them with. We make these every day for folks. So I want to take a minute and make this video because a guy sent all these hoses in uh, to be redone in uh, in the Brown and Miller Teflon. These are rubber hoses. They're actually, a, you know, when they were new, they were decent quality hoses. This is not Chinese junk. These are decent uh, hoses and fittings. Um, and so he paid, you know, he paid good money for them. But a couple of years down the road, um, they get really uh, tough, rigid, and just you can hear it cracking maybe when you try to bend it. And it, and it kinks up, obviously. If you take one of our hoses, um, it doesn't do that. It doesn't make that noise. And it stays nice, even with extreme bends. The Teflon also, unlike rubber, is uh, impervious to methanol and, and other oils and fuels that would ordinarily attack your uh, your rubber-type hoses. And so they're, they're more flexible and... Uh, surprisingly lightweight <clears throat> now of course people are going to say well this is a stainless hose this is a polyester hose of course the polyester is more flexible well here's a, a piece of brown and miller uh, stainless braided hose and as you can see it's also very flexible and nothing like this stuff so these two hoses are the same um, inside all the way to the outer covering. The only difference is the outer covering. This is a polyester braid and this is a stainless steel braid. Outside of that, they are the same. So uh, you can get these in either either flavor that you like. We recommend running the stainless like up under a car if it's gonna have any uh, rub points where it goes across a sharp edge or something like that. Recommend the stainless um, because this, you, know, you can cut this with a knife. So obviously if you have it on a sharp edge somewhere in the car, it would end up getting worn through the covering. But another thing people may not consider, they buy $1,500 batteries to save a few pounds on the car. Um, here you're getting a far superior hose, lasts forever, <coughs> and they're considerably lighter. And so we've got some scales set up over here, and we're just gonna show you what this stuff did weigh versus what it weighs now. And these are the exact same hose, same length, same fitting, same everything, just two different styles or manufacturers. So we'll load all these in. And I think you'll be surprised at the difference. If you don't think about hoses as something that's weight in your car, but these are some weight. All right, what you got there for the scales? 9.3. So his old stuff was nine pounds. So that's all the, the new hoses. 4.7. So not quite half the weight, but fairly close to half the weight. And this gentleman, you know, he had short hoses. Uh, you talk about longer runs and bigger hoses going from the front of the car to the back and stuff like that. It can add up to a substantial weight savings. But uh, this guy's going to save about five pounds. And um, that's that's worth considering, you know, and, and a much higher quality product. So reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns about these hoses, and we'd be happy to talk to you about it. Have a great day.